Welcome to this demo on Agile Carrier Ethernet. Agile Carrier Ethernet is the SDN-enabled architecture for large-scale service provider networks. It combines the latest innovations like segment routing, centralized pass compute, and full-service automation through Network Service Orchestrator. My name is Alex Preusche, and we will now go through the demo setup. This picture shows our lab topology. We have a network that is segmented into three different domains mobile aggregation, IP core, and mobile core. The domains run independent IGP processes with segment routing enabled inside and are totally isolated from each other, meaning there is no communication whatsoever possible between Alicante on the left and EPC on the right side. We are using a centralized PCE that calculates an inter-domain segment routing path based on an on-demand client request following an inter-domain service creation using NSO. And this is exactly what we are doing now. So first of all, let's go to the routers. And then I will show you that there is currently no VPN configured on Alicante and on EPC. Also, I will show you that the next hop, so the loopback address of the remote side is not reachable in our routing table. Also, I cannot ping the remote side, so the trace route will fail. Here as well, on the EPC side, there is no connectivity to Alicante. What I will show you as well, that there is currently no tunnel uh, configured or uh, automatically set up to any uh, remote destination. So you see, no PCE tunnels. No tunnels whatsoever. So let's go to the NSO GUI and here I have all the devices managed inside uh, NSO that are a part of my topology. Then I can go to services and select the ACE uh, service model that we have created. Then I create a VPN. Let's call it live. Okay. I go inside the VPN live and select the endpoints, so the members of this VPN. And we have Alicante, a member of the VPN, and then I assign a customer network IP address or network. And I do the same thing on EPC router. Okay, and assign a customer network here as well. That is the network inside the VPN. Okay, so let's commit this. Then NSO is pushing this configuration down to our devices. So what we have done now, we have created a layer 3 VPN between Alicante and EPC. And uh, we will learn in a few seconds BGP routes inside the VPN from the remote side. However, the next hop is not reachable. And for the next hop resolution, we initiate on demand a PSEP request towards the centralized PCE that calculates this interdomain pass for us and provides back the segment routing SID list that we will attach to the automatically created uh, tunnel interface, which we will see in a second. So let's have a look. So first of all, there's a VRF now called Live. If we look inside this VRF, we see already we learn the remote network, but the next hop, this IP address, is still not reachable. So we can still do a next hop and it's not found and also the trace route will still fail. So here on the other side as well, this is the, um, the prefix that we learned from the remote side, so the 10.0.0.1 network, but we can't ping the next top, right? It still fails. And we don't have to. So the only thing we have to make sure that there is connectivity inside the VPN. So what happened automatically we started, uh, um, for the unknown next hop, a PCE request or PSAP request to the PCE um, for giving us or for providing us a pass to the uh, unknown next hop. In this case, the dot four address um, is asked via the PCE. That's the PCE address. And then the PCE came back with a calculation. And this is what the PCE came back with. So go to this segment using the JSON CSIT 24005, 006, and then finally 24000. 
So that's the full pass from Alicante to reach EPC. And we have instructed the PCE to calculate a pass based on the IGP metric. And we will see this will flow now Alicante, Barcelona, Madrid, and then EPC. So if I do now uh, a do trace route, which is an alias for, for the trace route inside the VPN, we will see that we have reachability inside the VPN now. Because all VPN prefixes are uh, using a binding SID that is using actually the auto tunnel that has been created in the background. So here this auto tunnel to Alicante or auto Alicante to that uh, remote destination has been created automatically. right? So we have reachability also from the remote side and using the default i.e. the IGP optimized path. So we go Alicante, Barcelona 1, Madrid 1, EPC, and the same thing for the back pass. Now what we can do is we want to use the low latency pass. So we want the PCE to calculate a TE optimized pass for us, and we can do so by going back to the GUI, go inside the service, and select the gold option. Okay, and Then I can show you what it does. It just changes the matrix type from IGP to matrix type traffic engineering. And this is what we will be using to instruct the PCE to calculate our pass based on. So once we have this committed, actually we have instructed the PCE to come up with a pass not being optimized for the IGP now, but on traffic engineering metric. So Alicante has now sent a PSAP request give me a pass to EPC based on traffic engineering metric. So the PCE should now calculate a different pass. So let's repeat the trace route. So now you can see we are going Valencia, Barcelona 2, Madrid 2 and EPC. The same thing on the pass from EPC to Alicante. We are going Madrid 2, Barcelona 2, Valencia and then Alicante. And this is due to the fact that we have now asked for traffic engineering optimized pass. So the PC came back with the calculation looking like this, which defines the full pass going the low latency uh, or traffic engineering optimized plane. Good. So now when I want to remove the service completely, I go inside the NSO GUI, remove it and commit to the devices. And then not only the service configuration is gone, but also um, the tunnels will tear down. So the whole configuration related to the transport will also be gone. So let's have a look. We shouldn't be able to trace. There's no VPN. There's no VRF configured at all. So it's absolutely baseline configuration again. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.